Ah, oh, bottle cap. Oh, he says. Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. If you're new around here, my name is Amar and I'm an electric skateboarder and content creator based right here in the UK. Before we go any further, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content and also give the video a big fat like, it really helps with the algorithm. Today we've got something very different. Airtrick are a company who claim they hold the title for the world's first electric roller skates. So when they reached out to me, to collaborate, of course I said yes. They sent me their A1 Ultra to check out and these are hub-driven electric roller skates that claim 15 miles of range and up to 20 miles an hour top speed. Very impressive and a little bit scary. You can use your existing footwear with these skates and simply strap on the air trick onto each foot. You'd think that this mode of transportation is much more maneuverable and convenient than say e-skates or cycling because you can jump around and navigate obstacles a bit better. But we put this to the test in this video and we've got plenty to share with you. The battery on the A1 Ultra is rated at 3.5 amp hours or 38.6 volts and it falls under 100 watts in total capacity meaning that technically you should be able to take these on any airplane subject to of course the airline's approval now i actually filmed a detailed unboxing of the a1 pro quite a few months back but because of a combination of really long working hours rubbish weather consistently here in the UK and my overall lack of confidence on these things and fear that I was going to kill myself I've now totally lost slash misplaced that footage I have roller skated when I was younger but I found these electric roller skates to be quite sketchy when I tried them out they felt quite different to inline skating particularly because when you're accelerating you really want to have your feet side by side one foot perhaps ahead of the other so i solicited the support of my friend and ex-ski instructor garen in this video you'll see garen's rolling review on the air trick a1 ultra and really get to experience what it will be like if you decide to go ahead and purchase these things they are incredibly fun and very adrenaline inducing but they're certainly not without their shortcomings so be sure to watch until the end to find out more full disclaimer air trick have supplied me with the a1 ultra free of charge for the purposes of making this video but as will become pretty obvious, I'm not afraid of sharing this product's shortcomings and where I think it can be improved. Thank you to Noble Man Tech for being our channel sponsors. Make sure you check them out for all your safety gear. And you can use the code AMA at the checkout for 5% off. Let's get into the video. first ride on them? Um, it was definitely a new feeling. Yeah. Um, a little bit shaky for sure. Yeah. Uh, you were rocketing away though, I'm out of breath following you. Uh, yeah, uh, they accelerate quite smoothly, um, but yeah, you can pick up some, some speed uh, real quickly. Definitely quicker than you could just on a normal set of skates. Um, it's just a strange feeling of uh, your feet trying to move away from you and trying to, I was like this, hunched over the whole time. <laughs> And on a normal blade, I certainly wouldn't be hunched over like that. Yeah. Not very steezy. Well, did you have your feet alongside each other when you were accelerating? Um, yeah, you have to. Um, a couple of times I tried to accelerate, but when you skate normally, you have your, your feet yeah, out at an angle. And if you're accelerating, yeah. they, they accelerate away from you at an angle, which is kind of weird. Oh, wait, that's low. Because this is chill. I could do this all day.
careful that it's wet. Yeah. I just noticed they light up as well, the front wheels light up. Yeah. That's medium. How does medium feel? Uh, yeah, like comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah. It seems like it's a lot less sketchy to just you got to keep up a bit of momentum. Yeah, and if you just keep it side by side. I would have been on the floor a long time ago. Oh, that is using some muscle groups I've not used before. Yeah, look at this. Oh, the whole time the I'm whole just, time. yeah, I just feel like I get pulled so back. How, how do you counter that? Are you kind of leaning forward? Just trying to lean forward. And, uh. So you just stopped there and then went from the get go. How was that? Was that pretty smooth? Yeah, you have to lean forward a lot. When you, when you a you lot, forward, you yeah. Oh my god. This is just staying on these damn things. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> oh my god. I'll try and stop now. Easier to control. Uh, starting and stopping is sketchy. sketchy. What was that? I think it was a rock or something. Ah. Did you fall on your knees though? No. You're a very good faller. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, are you okay? Oh, that just locked up. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's swallowed a stone or something. Ah, oh, bottle cap. This has just got stuck in as I'm riding along and, uh, and jammed up in there. So it's got, uh, it's got sucked in and it's kind of, it's, yeah. it's locked up the wheel. Locked up the wheel and that was it, that foot just completely stopped dead. <laughs> that's very sketchy. Yeah, that's really sketchy. Of all the things I was worrying about, I was worrying about this snapping whilst you were riding. I wasn't, I didn't think that you'd get a bottle cap stuck in the... No. No? No. But it goes to show. There we go. I guess that's definitely an area that they can improve if they can have some kind of guard there. But then, I guess, I guess um, that, that space there, it seems pretty small, but it's big enough to suck in a bottle cap or something Absolutely. else that would jam up the wheel and throw you off. Are you alright though? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Lift Luckily I wasn't there. going too fast. Yeah. And you're a very good faller as well, I've got that in slow motion. Did you get the, <laughs> you got yeah. the fall? Good. Is, is that working then again now? I'm guessing it will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, straight back in. This other foot's going away from me. <laughs> They're very quiet. Is that the top mode? Yeah, uh, no. Let's uh, see what the top mode sounds like. This is pro mode. It's 
So there's low, medium, high and pro. Yeah. It is very quiet. Then again, it's It's a hob motor, yeah. Yeah. I think it's literally just a motor. Yeah. It's with a, a motor with, that with a rubber sleeve over it. <laughs> Yeah, what are your thoughts so far? What can be improved? So that's one thing that can obviously be improved. The straps can definitely be improved. Oh, uh, yeah. The, you're, you're paranoid at every moment they're going to snap off and then yeah. your foot's going to fall out. Um, I think, um, I, don't know if it, I don't know if it does or if it doesn't have uh, a mobile app for adjusting uh, acceleration curves. I don't think it does. Um, something like that I think would be a real benefit because uh, the biggest set thing I found even, I mean, yeah, I've only been on them 10, 10 15 minutes, but um, just getting used to a change in acceleration from your feet. Yeah. Um, it's it's not it's pretty smooth um i'd say it's not quite but almost on par with my uh with my atlas my iske atlas oh, okay. um in terms of smoothness but just because it's on it's attached to your feet uh i think it could just it just needs some finer some finer some adjustments fine, fine tuning, yeah definitely. some fine tuning just so that you avoid that because it's, it's I'm being very, very careful with it, and just the slightest touch makes me feel like my feet are going to run away from How me. How does it compare once you're going accelerating versus from the get-go? So once, once you're roll, once you're rolling, it's much, much better. Um, but again, you just need to be super careful with with what you do with your thumb, any yeah. adjustments, because because uh, then you feel really comfortable when you're rolling and your your balance is upright a little bit more. Just yeah. the slightest touch puts you off balance. So, no, yeah. What about what about braking? Because we were coming down the tram track there, and I was. I was slowing down, so you kind of had to brake, but you weren't. The brakes weren't. Didn't seem to be strong um, enough to slow you down quickly enough. Uh, the, I think the, the brakes are much stronger than it appears when I'm ride, when I'm using them because I'm being really really gentle. Again, it's just because braking throws your whole centre of balance off and wants to throw you forward. Yeah. Um, and leaning back is. It's on. It's on that. It's on natural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the whole time you're trying to lean as forward as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wonder if. Um, I, I do think a, a, a way to keep your foot um, more central to the skate in, in a comfortable, yeah, because yeah. this this one's now slipped back and I'm my weight's over the rear wheel. I should mention they sent another heel uh, piece ah. here that might, it might pull your foot a bit forward but I'm not sure. For different size, but, size feet. But if it's not then that's definitely an area that can improve isn't it because your, your foot's constantly, yeah. it's, it's kind of off, off centre so you've yeah. got I wiggle think, room here at the front yeah. and your foot's of um, dangling off the back isn't it? I've got quite small feet, uh, I'm a UK size 6 um, and I think the skate could benefit from a, a wider uh, axle to axle length Yeah. Um, just so that you can always have your feet in between the wheels and you've never got an opportunity to have your weight over the front or over the over the rear wheels. Yeah definitely. So yeah, no, th those are a few of the negatives, what's the fun part? Is it, is it exhilarating? Is it fun? <laughs> <laughs> um, the exhilaration is 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 the fear. It's, it's the fear of falling. It's the fear of falling. <laughs> um, it'd be interesting to see somebody who's uh, actually really good on them. I I have inline skated in my past. I don't do it very often anymore, and I uh, I, I own a pair of ice skates, but I don't go very often anymore. Um, you these are something you could get used to if you use them more often. Um, perhaps so. Yeah, yeah, perhaps. Because yeah. I'm thinking commuting on something like that is pretty fun, the electric skateboard, but these are just the next level of practicality because you can literally just throw them in your bag. Yeah. Um, probably go up and downstairs. I'm not sure if we'll try that. Yeah, my, my legs are hurting way more than walking. Okay. They're hurting yeah. a lot, but I'm probably using muscles that I don't normally use. Yeah, uh, for fun, for sure. Uh, I'm not sure about commuting, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Inline skate or anything like, your feet are almost always going outwards. Yes, exactly. So holding them straight and just that, I think that's what's hurt. Not that's what, that's why my muscles feel weird. Yeah, just you holding them. Force your feet in. Yeah, so you kind of have to have a wide stance so you've got the balance. Yeah. But then maintain bent knees. It, it, you, I mean, it looks a bit sketchy because the wheels are so thick. Yeah. They don't really have like a nice curvature to the end of them. They're no. Just straight. Yeah, they're very. Ra very um, like square shaped wheels. If that, if that's yeah. Say that. Yeah, they've got a square profile. Yeah. Yeah. 
Medium, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure we're going to see pro today. Horrific. Horrific. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You're literally a natural on them. A natural? Yeah, I'll say so. I'll, uh, I'll wait for the footage to yeah. make my own, uh, <laughs> Your judgment. No, my own judgment. I'm finding like a little bit, when I'm rolling, again, it's just because of the way they are. Um, I, I, used to, I used to instruct skiing okay. uh, and I found like having a slight snow plow yeah. Um, and uh, doing the same sort of like a snowplow turn, yeah. um, just shifting my weight, that helps me at least, yeah, in, that's, that's quite a nice way to turn and you yeah, stay, stable, yeah. you feel stable. This lift doesn't seem to work. Yeah. Doesn't work. Nope, there we go, uh, confirmation. In miles per hour or kilometers? Speedometer. Uh, it's in kilometers. It's so, yeah, it gets nine now. Yeah, that's that change in. It's the change in. But is your hand alright? Uh, yeah, it was a less than ideal fall, but not too bad. It's that fine adjustment when I'm trying to brake really, really gently, it gets to a point and it starts breaking. Yeah. But I don't think it's gentle enough. It's just. It's so just yeah, so all so all of a sudden you weight. Going and then all of a sudden you weight right. shifts. So you release the brake and adjust your body weight, yeah. and then you've overcompensated. And then having to do all of that whilst coming down a pretty much <laughs> a steep slope. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. No. Um, That's full brakes. Full brakes. Yeah. Felt like this one was going faster than that one. Do you want to test them? Yeah. Do you want to maybe turn it off and then back on again? Yeah. Hopefully that resyncs them. There we go. Medium. Try again. You think they're in sync? Yeah. 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 They're good for the most part. Yeah, they are, yeah. Downhill. It's an interesting first. Yeah, Kind of feels like they suffer from some of the same problems that the first, first. e-skates did. Yeah. I feel like you're about to do the splits at any point. Not the splits, no. It's just um, oh, having to keep my legs so stiff all the time. hold the brakes back yeah do they stop you from moving at all um they offer some resistance but not but not enough to keep, not, you, keep you stood still no 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 i think as long as you're not moving they kind of do yeah you can see here that's that's the brake fully back oh, okay so you can still do quite a movement <laughs> yeah. yeah i can feel the resistance when i do it but that'll be interesting to test on stairs yeah so if you if you pull back on the brake so that you could you just stop the wheels and then you can kind of just walk up <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Uneven ground is challenging. It's hard work and we've gone off gone on a lot of hard terrain. Yeah. Uh, this latter half of this uh, It seems like this not trip. you want to ride for more than ten minutes at a time. You say so. Um, not like the artness with the <laughs> It's certainly yeah, it's not a, it's not a it's not a relaxing experience. Um, I'm, only, I'm, I'm going quite slow, um, but I feel on a on a small board, you're you're a lot more relaxed um, than these at the minute. But 
but the streets of Birmingham might not necessarily be the best use case for them. But you're, you're doing really good getting in and out of pedestrians, getting in and out of tight spots and stuff. Yeah. I think that's more your skill than anything else. It's a hundred percent effort. Yeah. <laughs> and concentration. Effort and concentration. Um, I feel like you could have a lot more fun um, on at a skate park, an indoor skate park or a large outdoor skate park or something. Um, or just a, a, it's like a seaside esplanade with really good pavements um, where you can just get a speed up and just roll and, and kind of chill. Not saying that it's not fun, High risk, high reward. And you're going really slow. Is it easier just to use them as normal skates? Yeah. Rather than a... Yeah. yeah. 100%. How do you feel about The switch from skating to electric yeah. uh, is way less jarring when you've got a bit of speed. <laughs> he says, oh my god. <sighs> Insane. Oh my god. You must have gone through every single emotion possible now. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you lose balance like two or three times in a row? <sighs> yeah, yeah, it was just a. Uh, yeah, they were going too fast and too slow, then too fast and then too slow. More, more the surface of my skating ability than, than the electric. You survived it though. Yeah. Woo. I'm breaking, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't even sit off on a hill. I bet you really miss being able to walk on your two feet. Oh, yeah. This is pro mode now. Yeah. Seventeen K kilometers. Yeah. There was more in it. Yeah. I started getting speed wobbles. So, little speed test you did there. Got to about, what, 17 k's an hour? Uh, I saw, last I looked at it was 19. 19? Yeah, 19 so, kilometers so per hour. Uh, and there was, I felt like there was still a lot left in the skates, but um, I was getting speed wobble. As I shifted my weight, one skate would accelerate quicker than the other, so I'd compensate uh, and end up sort of oscillating. And then I stopped. <laughs> I don't think the skates were, themselves accelerating more it's just because i had more more weight on one foot than the other so one was allowed to go faster oh, right, than the other okay. at a constant 15 that was kind of nice that was that was okay i could relax a little bit uh, and just roll yeah. um, but as i accelerated like i say towards 17 18 and 19 uh, i think it's got a little bit yeah yeah All right, the taxi right yeah speed bump That's nice. This is a sort of comfortable. Yeah. Another speed boost.
I need the rest. Uh, I'm not convinced they're the future of commuting just yet. Uh, they were kind of fun um, and they, I think they suffer from some first generation quirks here and there uh, where we can have some improvements. Um, but they've lasted a couple of miles around Birmingham. Yeah. I've lasted a couple of miles around Birmingham. So what are the three main cons would you say? So the straps is one. Um, you the, can see, you yeah. can see it's pretty oh, the Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was pretty close to losing that. Yep, yeah, so the straps definitely, uh, some Velcro straps I think would be better uh, and an ability to, some more adjustment on it so you can place where your foot is. Um, that bottle cap and just, I felt it with some leaves and some other bits and pieces yeah. uh, around when I was skating, things getting jammed in there and that would either stall or slow down that skate, slow it down. which was problematic. Um, and, and if one slows down more than the other, then it does feel really sketchy, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah, absolutely. It feels super unnatural. It throws you, throws you off balance. Uh, and yeah, if you don't fall, you're kind of lucky in those scenarios. Yeah. Um, and I guess the third improvement would be some kind of customization, either via the app or, or a phone app to adjust the acceleration curves. Um, I, can think, I can think of two more. Yeah. The, um, the fact that this, although we'll caveat this by saying that you get another two of these in the box, so they might improve that, but the fact that your foot sits so far back. Yeah, my foot, yeah, my foot was sitting quite far back. Um, I adjusted it as far forward as it, as it would go, but it would over time slip back yeah. uh, and just means that it's difficult to keep your, your centre of mass in between the two wheels. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is going uphill from a standstill? <laughs> yeah, going up from a standstill. Um, I think that's always going to be hard. Uh, I could feel the skates wanting to leave, but um, just leaning forward into it, it was really difficult to, to get a standing start. Um, I really think you are meant to um, skate a little in them to get some momentum before using acceleration, but that's certainly how it, how it felt best for me when I was skating. Yeah, did you have fun though? Yeah, it's been, I wasn't expecting this, but yeah, it's been fun. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> something new, something different. Definitely um, more suited to smooth terrain, smooth paths. Or yeah, like I think we mentioned before, um, if, it's, if you're on a smooth path or a skate park or an out, outdoor park or a um, seaside um, cycle path or something, uh, you can have a lot more fun and go a lot, a lot further and just kind of relax a little. It's 15 mile range. Oh wow. Well. I, I don't think I've got 15 miles range in me. <laughs> <laughs> 659 dollars. 659. And that's discounted from 800 dollars. $800 retail price. 800 dollar retail, but it's never really 800 dollar retail. It's uh, a. They always got a discount on. But would yeah. you pay 659 dollars for it? Even at 659, like the discount, discounted price, having I don't know, it's a it's a steep ask. Um, I mean, it, it is the first of its kind, sort of yeah. thing. Um, um, so they, they're not really, they don't really have the competition, and I guess that's why they've priced it how they have. But yeah. I definitely think it's very, very steep price. It is, it is, it's steep because it's, it's an unknown fact quantity for a lot of people. Like, it's something you just be jumping straight in, no idea what it's like. I don't suppose many people have much opportunity, like as I have, to just give them a go. Um, things like this, at that price point, this, this shouldn't be, this definitely shouldn't be an issue not. at all. And how would um, we resolve that pretty easily? Um, yeah, just um, some simple Velcro straps. Time for binding or something. For yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just like you'd see like a, a webbing strap with some Velcro on it uh, yeah. would be a much much better solution for that. It'd last longer. Yeah. <laughs> and so you'd yeah. get a more comfortable fit. No, definitely. So 659 is steep, but it's yeah. definitely fun. I could see you were having a great deal of fun. A large amount of the time you were smiling, but it's because you were terrified of falling off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what kept your adrenaline, adrenaline going. It's definitely, it's definitely an, an adrenaline junkie uh, kind of product. Um, I, th I guess, I mean, maybe at $350, it might be, you yeah. know, some people that have got some spare money burning up uh, a hole in their pocket might be willing to splash for it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, who knows. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for glad you're, throwing you're, me on these things. I'm glad your hand's still intact. And actually, you'll yeah. notice that Gav's got only one glove on, and that's because you can't hold this remote with your uh, I guess that's a sort of common e-skate problem. Yeah. It's not necessarily... Um, I, I can't yeah, comfortably it's, hold it. It's. So I was worried for him the whole time that he'd fallen on that hand. He did a, a, <laughs> end up 
putting his hand a little bit. Yeah, and maybe just a, uh, it's kind of strapped to the back of your hand with a trigger. Yeah, with a trigger, yeah. Yeah, maybe. who knows. So guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this detailed review. If you want more information on the Airtrick A1 Ultra, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below so that you can check them out, investigate further and buy these things if you want to. It's really exciting seeing innovative products like this come into the market. The price for me is a bit of a shame. It is quite steep, I think, but there aren't really alternative products on the market. So perhaps that's why Airtrick have priced these as they have. I think if Airtrick can action some of the improvements that Garen suggested in this video, after his testing, such as customizable acceleration and braking curves, better foot positioning and increased plate length for larger feet, and some sort of guard to prevent debris and things from getting sucked in and locking up the motor whilst you're riding, then I think that Airtrick will be able to increase the appeal of their product. I can see that Airtrick sell Velcro straps on their website, but really at the price at which their electric roller skates come in, Velcro straps should come as standard, especially when their stock rubber straps straps can barely withhold a single ride before they start tearing to shreds. If Airtrick can address all of these things and also look at reducing their price, for reference, the A1 Pro with inferior specs to the A1 Ultra still comes in at around $600, then I think their electric roller skates will really present themselves as an attractive and appealing option for PEV enthusiasts and potentially become an attractive tool that one could use for commuting. But that's all for now, folks. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Like the video if you haven't done already and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much to Garen for volunteering to test these things with me. He's definitely saved me a few falls on this one. And you'll see more of Garen on the channel soon because he's also helped me to review WowGo's new 3E electric skateboard, which hopefully will be coming to the channel soon. Until then, ride safely and peace.